Good day everybody, so guy here, they are known, and today I want us to look at something very important. I want us to look at this uh, beautiful trace that we're given this week, okay? I want to share my thought process with you, and I want to share what I look for and what actually triggers me to open a trade, okay? So I believe this is going to help all of you. And as I already know, this is the most explosive trading strategy for indices, and I love this strategy for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's easy. Secondly, it's rinse and repeat. Every day you come to your charts, you're looking for the same thing, okay? And then it's straightforward, guys. You have all the criteria. And if these criteria are not fully met, you know you should not do anything, okay? Because not trading is also part of trading, okay? And of course, uh, it is explosive, which simply means your take profit should be hit quick. And again, it gives you all the all the freedom you need. I believe trading is all about freedom. If you're going to be stick sticking to your charts the entire day, then you're going to get tired. You're going to get analysis, paralysis, and everything will be hard for you, okay? So this one allows you to trade less than three hours a day, okay? Sometimes it's going to be less than 30 minutes depending on uh, which time they give you an opportunity, okay? So, guys, uh, these are the criteria we're going to be following, okay? And just another thing I want to show you. You see my screen is divided into four equal compartments. And the reason is I am not married to any single asset. This is the Dow. This is the S&P. This is Nasdaq. And I put gold here just to make this uh, equal screens, okay? Four equal screens because when it's three, it's a little bit harder. But when it's four, it's easy, okay? So this is how I look at my charts, okay? I will be looking at all these three indices at the same time to see which one is giving me a easy pattern because every day i'm looking for the simplest trade i don't want to be smart okay i don't want to outsmart the market i want the easiest trade each and every day so i'll be looking at these charts to see which asset is giving me the easiest trade and i'm gonna take the easiest trade why because if you get married to one say maybe us 30 and you are focusing only on us 30 yes some days you're gonna get good ones but you're gonna end up forcing it to give you trades that are not ready some days okay you might find that us will give you a beautiful trade today and tomorrow maybe SP will give you a beautiful trade the following day us data again and the following day maybe nasdaq so when you look at my trades you realize that i'm not taking the same kind of trades uh, the same kind of uh asset every day sometimes i took us data sometimes i took smp sometimes i took nasdaq the reason is i'm looking for the easiest trade on the day okay so guys that's important, okay? So I'm going to start with uh, US 30 and we will be going through our rules as well, okay? So we will start with Monday, which was actually uh, the 8th, okay? Yes. And our criteria says we have five criteria, okay? This one, sometimes we won't be able to identify it, so we can still continue without it, even uh, in case we don't, we are unable to identify it, okay? And these ones, these ones we don't, do anything until they are all fully met okay i will explain that as we go so guys uh the first criteria says identify trap volume before the session you need to have 65 to 70 pips okay this simply means that from the from from the evidence candle to the place where they would have completely uh released trap volume you need to have at least 65 65 to 70 pips why because if you are looking for 50 pips some days they are not going to release trap volume so you need to know that okay you have enough space for your 50 pips and i'll explain that as we go okay so let's try to identify trap volume to, uh, before the session mostly as i told you it's going to be on the closing price some brokers have two closing price it will be the closing price of friday and there will be this uh, roughly one hour. And then after that, there will be another closing price here. I just want to use the recent closing price, okay? And this is simply because of time zones, okay? Some countries, uh, markets open earlier than others, okay? Because we are not using the same time zone. So I use the recent one. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use the recent one, okay? Because this is where mostly they're going to trade volume so if you look at this what is trade volume trade volume is simply those who are in a loss when the session opens okay who is in a loss when the session opens if you look at this the session opens right here right who is at a loss these people who went down everybody who sold is at a loss when prices are here okay so guys you do this five to ten minutes before the session opens okay so you identify people down here as what as trade volume okay and this is very important guys you'll see the importance today okay because uh the truth is everything i've written here everything i'm showing here is very important some people want to start from the third criteria but i'm going to show you the danger of doing that okay if you really want to be consistent you have to know all of these things okay so guys look at this the second criteria now says what it says uh wait for the equity opening time okay so the equity opens at 9 30 a.m. U.S. time in South Africa is 3.30 p.m., okay? So you can trade even if you are a full-time employee, okay? 
yes yes now we don't do anything here we only trade inside this box okay so that's important and then again the criteria tells us something very important uh now we have to start looking for a uh for a chart pattern to see who is trapped and here's the most important thing guys when you come into your charts you don't know if you're gonna buy you don't know if you're gonna sell i know that guys there are many strategies that have a directional bias which is good however most people don't understand what a directional bias means and I believe they don't understand what trading means. Look at this. If you have a directional bias and your directional bias says that uh, today the prices are going to go up, you don't just force or look for a long position. You have to wait until it is fully confirmed that prices are going up. Okay? That's highly important. Guys, you have to be in the now. This is important. Let me write it here. You have to be in the moment, in the now, now moment. Okay? It's What's important is what's happening now. What are prices telling you now? This is why people keep on losing, okay? You have to ask yourself, what are prices telling me now? It's not about the directional bias that you have in your mind, okay? What are prices telling you now? Be in the now moment, okay? Trade prices, not an idea. An idea is good or a directional bias is good only if you know that you have to wait for it to be confirmed, okay? You have to wait for it to be confirmed because most people, uh, it actually have used to happen to me when I was still starting. If the directional bias says prices are going up, even if they show you that prices are going down, you will be married to your directional bias and you're not going to see what prices are telling you. So be in the now moment and always trade prices don't trade an idea trade prices that's highly highly important okay it's about prices it's not about the right directional bias if they say prices are going up on your directional bias it's okay wait for prices to confirm that if that is rejected you need to be flexible enough to change that directional bias okay don't get married to a directional bias i repeat don't get married to a directional bias okay this is one thing george soros does okay he's able to change his his, his idea very very quick and that's what a trader should do okay that's a skill everybody needs if they are showing you that prices are going up and your directional biases prices are going uh, down follow prices because prices at the end of the day will prevail you can fight the market as much as you want they don't care about your directional bias they don't even care about you okay so one thing that's gonna win at the end of the day is what prices are telling you hence why i say with this strategy i tried my best to eliminate the directional bias when you come to your charts you don't know if you're gonna sell you don't know if you're gonna buy this is highly 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 important we don't know what we're gonna do okay so now let's go back to uh i had to explain that it's very very important always think about this be in the now moment okay don't get married to an idea that says prices have to go up it doesn't matter even if uh uh your trusted uh your trusted broker, your trusted website, whosoever says prices are going to go up today. Be in the now moment and pay close attention to the information that the price is generating to you. Because the idea is not something that prices will actually respect. Prices will respect what they are doing at that moment. So even if you fight them, it's up on you. Okay. So guys, look at this. Now the third criteria says we have to identify a chart pattern. Okay. But there is still something important here. What type of trend do you see? So this is a question you ask yourself before the session begins. Okay. So before the session begins, you're going to ask yourself three questions. The first question is, uh, okay. The first question is what news are on the economy calendar? The second question is who is trapped? The third question is actually, uh, what type of trend do you see? I've tried, guys, to, 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 to give you different kinds of trends, okay? Okay, I'm coming to this. I've tried to give you different kinds of trends, okay? If you look at page, uh, it's page, okay, yes, it's uh, actually this page here, page 8 on your playbook. We have different kind of trends. We have explosive trends when going down, and again, we have explosive trends when going up. They are identified through different trend lines okay two or more trend lines at different levels okay that's highly highly important and there are also other form of trends as well okay it's just that i'm not gonna be able to explain everything 
they are in your playbook which is in the description and again you can also find them on my recent videos okay because everything i'm sharing everything that's in the playbook i've explained before and as you already know all my videos are the same because it's the same kind of thing every day hence i told you i love this strategy because it's a rinse and repeat every day when you come to your chart you are looking for the same thing so this tells us that we have something like an explosive trend okay this is an explosive explosive trend right this is an explosive trend okay explosive trend why because we have two trend lines on different levels how do you know it's different levels pull this up you'll see if you pull this up you see it uh, okay it is on a different level because it doesn't account for this so immediately now when uh the session opens what happens prices shoot up prices shoot up this is important prices shoot up okay yes they shot up and we got an idea here that we are in an explosive trend so we did expect something uh, like this something to explode okay and now the session is opened okay and now they've already exploded so let's see what the criteria says next okay because some people if you get an opportunity here you will just want to be selling not being aware that you are in an explosive move, okay? That also helps you. I know, I told you, people want to start from this criteria here. But if they give, if had they given you an opportunity to go down, some of you would have taken it, but you were in an explosive trend, okay? That's why they exploded. Now, we need to know his trap during the session. This is where people start from, okay? And this is what I believe most of you already know. So we need a chart pattern. Why? Because we don't know what they're going to do. The idea is they're going to trap people into a certain direction once they've trapped them they're going to give us a very a very big candle that close that breaks out of that pattern and that's what we call the evidence candle once it's given that's where we execute okay so let's see at what they did and okay we don't know what we're gonna do they gave something like a triple top something like a multiple top somebody could have seen a shoulder head and shoulder a head and shoulder with double heads i put it in the playbook as well okay and that's when they broke out of it with a with a big 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 candle wow okay it's up to you is it a triple top multiple top or shoulder head head shoulder it's up to you what you see okay it's really really up to you what you see but look at this it's a multi-top that they gave i didn't take it here okay but look at this they gave a very beautiful evidence candle what is an evidence candle evidence candle is a big candle that breaks out of the pattern okay B candle that breaks out of the pattern usually it's going to be an engulfing candle and it's going to engulf most of the candles uh that made the final leg if you compare the size of this candle with these candles that made the final leg you'll realize that this is the biggest candle and most possibly the biggest candle inside this entire pattern okay okay look at this you execute here and you put your stops above okay once you put your stops above Usually my stops are 15 to 25 pips, okay? You put your stops above, what do they do? They pull back here and they gave you another engulfing candle. This is beautiful, guys. I've realized that people are unable to distinguish between opportunities and threats, okay? People see opportunities as threats. I don't know why, and I want to explain this. Guys, if they give you something like a pattern, let's look at this. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm not uh, after... Uh, or trying to make this video as short as I can because there are people who need to learn, okay? And I don't want to lead, uh, I don't want to leave serious people floating, okay? Or with questions. If they give you maybe a pattern like this, remember we spoke about a pattern. Focus on a pattern that has roughly three touches on either side, okay? This pattern doesn't necessarily mean prices are gonna go up. They can still go down, okay? They can still go down, okay? So you need to be able to know what prices are saying. Let's say, for instance, they break down with a very big candle here. I always do this. Every time I draw a pattern, know how I put this big candle here. And that's because this is an evidence candle and that's what we execute. Guys, I've seen most of you try to execute somewhere here guys please please wait for the evidence candle to close because it might end up as a pin don't try to guess we are not in the guessing business okay we want to be sure we need to know that all, all odds are lined are, are lined up on our sides okay we need to know that we have high probabilities of actually winning this trade okay so we need evidence to know that they are going in the direction 
uh, before actually executing so guys if you if they give you something like this and you execute here oh this is good and then they do this and they do this some people will maybe your stops are up here most people see this as a threat okay most people interpret this as a threat and this is important okay 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 it's fine okay it's fine let's just leave it this way okay let me just leave it this way uh people see this as 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 oh sorry 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 oh it's vertical okay it's fine people see this as what people see this as a threat okay this is no threat this is no threat this pullback here is not a threat at all it is actually the opposite it is an opportunity okay this is an opportunity that's how i actually view it this is an opportunity okay this is an opportunity rather than a threat why because when they pull back they're giving you another opportunity to scale in maybe they do this and they give you a very big candle over here notice how i always draw out my big candles this is because that's where you execute okay and i know people are so obsessed with entering early hey they want to make the most if the market goes guys i had that mindset you're gonna lose with it okay you're gonna try to execute here or execute before this candle closes before because now you think oh you can make a lot guys you're always gonna leave a lot on the table it's not about the number it's not about quantity it's about quality okay this is a quality one because you have evidence so let's say they pulled back this is not a threat this this is an opportunity okay this is what i'm trying to show you don't view this as a threat okay oh sorry let me move this one okay oh sorry let me just okay let me just do this don't see this as a threat see this as an opportunity a pullback is always an opportunity when you see them pulling back just wait patiently the worst thing that can happen is you, they can hit your stops and you will lose but mostly they are not gonna hit your stops that's why they broke out with an evidence candle and that's why these guys are trapped there they are not gonna risk releasing them why because how many times have you found yourself in a losing trade and you felt like oh i can't close it because the losses are too big i just want to come i just want them to come back to break even so that i can actually close at break even yes you know you are wrong but you don't want to close because maybe you over leverage maybe you use the big lot size and immediately just a few pips resulted in a very big loss and now you are uncomfortable you can't actually uh take a loss most people can't take losses guys believe me most people can't take losses so i want you to write something down a pullback is not a threat it's an opportunity when they do something like this what they are actually doing is they are giving you another opportunity to scale in here you can use a smaller lot size here you can use a bigger lot size why because this position here has is uh actually has a higher higher probability now because it has been confirmed that is going in your direction and when you enter here that's how traders make money you are not in this business to be right okay and that's what most people are obsessed with you have you you are scared of losses you always want to be right it's not about being right or wrong it's about the, the the product it's about getting paid at the end of the day so how do you get paid you get paid when you scale in okay scale in add another position okay so now i'm sharing a lot of things with you okay this is trade management okay but i have to share these things with you so that you get to know what is important and now once they've done this that's when you trail your stop this is the second thing i'm showing you here right now okay second thing which is important okay this is the second thing that is important the first thing that i want you to write obviously is the fact that a pullback is not a threat it's an opportunity the second thing i want you to write is the fact that uh okay the first thing that i want you to write is the fact that a pullback is not a threat okay it is an opportunity it is an opportunity the second thing i want you to write is the fact that uh you don't just have to trail your stops anytime i know guys you are a trader and you are so obsessed with uh, freeing yourself from risk. Remember, your mind wants to protect you. The mind will always take a decision that is for protecting you, okay? It's protecting you. It's looking after comfort. Unfortunately, this is not a business that you have to feel comfortable in. Feeling comfortable in this business simply means losing, okay? If you want to be comfortable in this business, you're going to lose, okay? And here's what I mean. Some people, when you enter here and you see them, oh, going, going in your direction, most of you are so obsessed with trailing your stops to break even. I will assure you, 80% of the chance or even more, 
they are gonna retrace back to your entry remember they gave you an evidence candle here their objective is not to give you opportunities it's to take from you their objective remember markets will cease to exist if they start giving uh, money to everybody the main or the sole objective of markets is to take from all of the people and give it to the few people whom i believe it's world leaders right so they are not in the business of giving you okay they are in the business of taking from you that is important to know why because when you know that you get to know how they think you get to know how they behave and look at this this is highly important since all of you are willing are so obsessed with trailing your steps to break even one thing they're gonna do they are gonna retrace to your entry remember they did the yes they gave you an evidence candle they know there are people who are gonna enter on an evidence candle because engulfing candles are important as i said these guys are tricky but one thing they'll never be able to hide from you is their footsteps this evidence candle tells you that these guys inside here they are trapped and now they are moving in this direction okay but they know you're gonna enter Enter here they know you're gonna enter here and then secondly they know how your mind actually behaves they know that your brain is is designed in a way that it is more uh more 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 focusing on protecting you and it's protecting you from pain okay so you want to trail your stops to get rid of pain instantly okay so they are gonna trail back to your entry 80 percent of the time they will trail they will retrace back to your entry so the second thing i want you to write is the right time to trail your stops is after they've retraced back to your entry if they haven't hit your your take profit by then okay why because they are gonna retrace to your entry and once they've retraced to your entry and give another engulfing candle this is the safest trade to be in hence i'm telling you you can open a smaller position here and then add a bigger one here why because this move has been confirmed okay mostly they are not gonna release these guys and please understand me carefully i'm not talking about now risking 10 percent of your account no risk management is highly important okay why because you can still lose any trade any trade you open you can lose but i'm telling you now this is a high probability trade okay take the first one as throwing uh, as throwing mud on the wall to see if it sticks as peter branded says and take the second one as the safest one to add more size as confirmed as as an as a confirmed opportunity okay that's highly important so the best time to trail your stops is after they've trailed back to your uh to your stops and given another opportunity to enter now you can bring your stops to here okay you can bring your stops to here that simply means you have reduced the risk from here to here okay and then as the move is going sometimes they might just do that again sometimes they might oh sorry guys sorry guys oh sorry for that okay sorry for that okay sometimes they might do something like this and retrace back hardly they are gonna come here okay they might do this if they do this again guys 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 this is a killer trade okay this is a trade you can go in heavily this is what i love to see hence i'm telling you a pullback is not a threat it's an opportunity okay look at this if they give you something like this this is where you can add another position and as you are adding now you can trail this stops from here from here to here okay now you are in three positions with very low risk and this is what i call this trade is now a risk-free trade okay don't rush to make it a risk-free trade know the correct time to scale in why because most of the time they will come back to your entry they know that guys you are obsessed with uh trailing to your entry and guys remember this evidence candle is not given with an intention of giving you confirmation for an entry no it's given with an intention of harming those who are trapped making them unable to close their losses because their losses are so big so they want them to give them hope all oh, the whole prices can come back and when prices are coming back they are not gonna go back to the inside okay they are not going back why because they are giving these guys a little bit of hope all oh, prices are coming back to break even i'll close immediately when they are in break even and before you know it there's another another big candle which increases then 
the, the risk, okay, uh, the loss. And as it's going, there's going to be a point whereby you will be forced to close with a big loss because if you don't, you'll see that you're blowing your account. And that's what they want, okay? So, guys, here I explained something very important, which is uh, mostly trade... Uh, management okay trade management and an opportunity so i'm gonna go back to my charts okay so guys this is not a threat hence i wanted to show you okay uh this is not a threat okay if i enter here obviously i'll add a new position somewhere here i'll add a new position okay if i entered here i can add a new position here why because i don't want to add into a loss if my first position is losing i'm not gonna add because obviously when they pull back i'm at a loss right uh yes i'm at minus it's 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 a loss actually it's not a loss it's just uh it's just minus they are against me i'm under heat right yes but the moment the second uh the, okay because this is the level i measure for myself the moment they surpass this level that means i'm in i'm, I'm, I'm the first one is in profits so that's why i add a second one okay and now if your stops were here you can just trail them to here or you can keep them at the same place until they go okay you see again they will come to your entry most of the days they will come to your entry so don't be obsessed with uh with trailing your stops instantly okay or immediately you see when they come back here and give another uh, either another pattern or just a pullback that's where you can enter more so these are the kind of moves where you can actually get paid 10 times okay look at this i didn't take it here because i wasn't on the charts i took it here you see when i came to my screen this is what i saw okay this is what i saw and there's something important i want to show you here again okay wow there's just a lot of things to share that's why guys i'm no longer focusing on the on the on the on the on the speed or on the time like making it a 15 minute video it doesn't matter most people are unable to learn so this was a right angle triangle it broke to the upside here's something important i want you to start knowing okay if they give you a big pattern and then after a few minutes they give you another pattern which is now contrary to the first pattern guys don't take it okay unless it's in alignment with the first pattern why because obviously they're gonna try to scare you out of uh, a winning position or else they're gonna try to 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 make you doubt your your sorry to make you doubt your entry you don't have to doubt your entry okay don't doubt your entry if they give you a big pattern you take it maybe you you targeted 50 or whatever okay yes our initial target is roughly 50 so it was hit on the first move down okay but there are big moves where you can target 100 okay and i told you if you back test that's where you are gonna understand uh the moves where you are actually able to target 100 bips okay okay this pattern itself is 100 bips so you can target 100 okay so look at this if 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 if, if you entered here yes on this one your your take profit was hit quick but if you had a bigger target now they are showing you a right angle triangle and they are breaking to the upside don't take this second one that happens minutes after the first one because this one is usually just that move where they try to scare you out of a winning position okay for me i took this one here here this is where i took it on on, on monday i entered here because when this happened i wasn't on my charts okay i was out but i saw when i come back there was somewhere here so i had to wait okay and when i waited they gave a right angle triangle they broke to the upside but i'm not going to take it because i saw that there was a very beautiful pattern here and this one is mostly that pattern that is trying to get you lost sorry guys okay so i'm saying this if they give you a pattern and then few minutes later they give you another pattern in which is uh opposing the first pattern don't take the second one okay because they are just trying to to mislead you or throw you into the op into the wrong direction okay they're gonna do this most of the time you just need to know okay so guys this is where i took it because now it came down and broke in line with my pattern oh okay by the time i took it it looked like a wedge and of course yes i told you to focus on patterns with three touches guys focus on patterns with three touches until you have the experience okay always i always tell you to back test and i know most of you don't want to do the work you think oh this strategy is so simple you're gonna get paid Lo you're not gonna get the success you need until you back test enough okay back test is a cheat code and if you think you're gonna front test you won't have enough it's gonna take you roughly five years to understand all these things because you are front testing remember you can't move quick into the future but you can move quick into history you can do 10 years of back testing i shared with you different tools i even told you where to download recent data okay Dukas copy has 
all the data you need just go to Ducas copy download all the data you need and you can use uh is it a uh, blue fx yes simulator i shared with you everything okay soft fx simulator there are many simulators that you can utilize okay make sure you back test okay i took this one yes it has two touches for me i've done this a lot of times guys and i know there's sometimes people come and tell me that oh but you took this you took this yes i took that because i have done a lot of work on this i i i, I didn't just learn these things yesterday okay you need experience guys you need experience so you have to go back and do a lot of back testing that i won't lie to you okay i'm not gonna say what everybody says you can be good no you will never be good until you start back testing okay so i took it here and i targeted 100 bibs two positions i immediately opened two positions because this is a big move okay and uh remember i told you uh from the criteria that you need to have at least 65 to 70 pips if you are taking a, an opportunity that is leading to trap volume who is trapped everybody down here is trapped right so you need to have at least 65 to 70 pips so uh just to know that you're you're gonna get uh you're gonna get paid from where the evidence candle is being given to the point whereby if they reach they would have released trap volume and that is because most of the days they are just gonna lead you into trap volume just to trap you they're not gonna release these guys and they are just gonna reverse okay most of the time they will do that so you need to be sure that to get paid if you are looking for 50 pips you need to have at least 65 to 70 pips that tells you that even if they don't come and release these guys you're still gonna get paid right okay because these guys are trapped you see this is the lowest point that was reached when sending people in the into the wrong direction so for me here i knew i had a very big space okay we had roughly 246 so what i did was i targeted uh 100 pips from here and i opened immediately uh two big positions okay i opened a big position on this candle and as this one was going down i opened another position okay okay so my 100 pip was hit in less than 20 minutes actually it was hit in 18 minutes what did i say i told you one of the reasons i love this is because it's explosive and guys if you follow this you're always gonna get moves that are ready to explode you're always gonna get moves that are ready to explode that's what you need to build your account you don't need moves that will trap you trap you no you need to be patient okay you need to be patient but take moves that are ready to explode my moves oh, i don't know what to say most of the moves that i take are ready to explode immediately after taking them they explode they just explode okay if you look at the times look at the times down here obviously my broker is behind in two hours because of the server time i can't change it okay it's saying 15 11 minutes 15 actually yeah roughly 15 11 so that's i told you a trade will happen 10 minutes or 10 minutes after 10 minutes before 10 minutes after the o'clock mark or the half hour mark so this was roughly 11, 11 minutes after the hourly mark uh the hourly mark yes yes it was 11 minutes but look at the evidence candle guys this is what i want you to see you see this candle just pops out okay even if you miss the pattern this candle will just pop out and give you all the assurance you need okay wow guys i know you're so obsessed with taking things inside the pattern if you don't know what they are doing if you don't have a chart pattern then you simply don't know what they are up to and if you don't know what they are up to you don't have an edge okay don't take anything because if you are taking something you don't understand chances are you're gonna be inside the pattern why because you don't understand what they're building at this time you're gonna be inside the pattern and once you're inside the pattern they are gonna punish you okay or else they are just gonna keep playing around with you i once took a trade on gold i'll never forget it was long time ago okay long time ago that trade actually blew my account like i was inside and like okay they'll go five pips and then and then and then and then before i know it they're back they hit my stops i i take it again they hit my stops i blew an account with small moves so you don't want to take a trade when you are inside a pattern if you don't see a pattern you surely don't know what they are doing stay patient and let me read something for you quite quick okay guys guys honestly i'm going all my way out to help you but guys if as long as you're impatient remember what warren buffett said he said markets are a device to move capital from those who are impatient and give it to those who are patient guys this is highly highly important as long as you are you are an impatient 
uh, that's going to hurt you most of the time. Okay, look at this. This was uh, Jim Rogers. This is uh, Market Wizards, the little book about Market Wizard. Okay, uh, it's, 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 it's actually written by, uh, who is he? Okay, I'll tell you his name. Jack Swagger. Okay, Jack Swagger, yes. He was interviewing Jim, uh, George, uh, Jim Rogers here. Okay, he asked Jim Rogers, he asked Jim Rogers, okay, uh, about uh, his level of patience. Actually, where's the question? Uh, okay. Okay, when I then asked Rogers whether he always had to have everything lined up before taking a position or whether he might occasionally put on a trade based on his hunch of an impending price move, he answered, listen to the, listen to the answer. What you just described is a very fast way to the poor house, okay? Listen to this. I just wait until there is money lying in the corner and all I have to do is go over there and pick it up wow this is amazing guys wow this just blows my mind away okay this blows my mind away i just wait until there is money lying in the corner and all i have to do is go over there and pick it up guys read this book get this book and read it you will learn from the best people in the world you will be learning from uh uh, Paul Tudor Jones, Jim Rogers, all the best traders in the world, you'll be learning from them. But guys, this will blow your mind away. I just wait until there is money lying in the corner and all I have to do is to go over there and pick it up. Listen to this. In, in other words, until the trade is so obvious that it's like picking money up off the floor, he does nothing. Wow. Guys, this is amazing. This is amazing. And there are other people here as well. Uh, okay, Jean Crow Bart. Okay, there are other people here who actually uh, describe the same kind of thing. Okay, okay, let me find something again here about patience, patience, patience. Okay, I love this, guys. I love this. Okay, okay, uh, Mark Winston. Okay, okay, yes, listen to this. I know this video is gonna get long, but guys, this will help you. Okay. Listen to this, Mark Winston. He's still talking about patience, okay? I've skipped a lot of people uh, who actually spoke about patience. But listen to uh, what Mark Winston said. A trader I interviewed in Market Wizard used an animal kingdom analogy to illustrate the link between patience and good trades. Wow, wow, wow. I just love this, okay? Okay, okay. He said, uh, I also don't lose much on my trades because I wait for the exact right moments. And people always ask me, how are you able to get these accurate trades? Here's the secret. I don't lose much because, uh, okay. I also don't lose much on my trades because I wait for the exact right moments. Wow, wow, wow. Listen to what he said next. Although the cheetah is the fastest animal in the world and can catch any animal on the plains, it will wait until it's absolutely sure it can catch its prey. It may hide in the bushes for a week, waiting for just the right moment. It will wait for the baby antelope and not just any baby antelope, but preferably one that is sick and lame. Only then, when there is no chance it, could, it can lose its prey, does it attack. You see, you see, that to me is the epitome of a professional trader. Okay, guys, listen to this. These are the greatest people in the industry, not your social media influencers, okay? Not people promoting brokers. Here we are talking about mostly hedge fund managers, okay? The best guys in history. There are many of them who are talking about this patience that I've just skipped. But listen to these two, only these two, okay? They wait until there is a perfect moment, okay? And most of you, all you do is like, you want to, you, you're so obsessed. You want to trade. Okay. You see one, two, three, shoulder, head, shoulder. You don't know if they are still building another, another pattern. You execute here. Before you know it, you lost. Guys, 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 this is not even a trade. It hasn't broken out of anything. That's not part of our criterias. Okay. That's not part of our criterias. Guys, can't you just remain patient and wait for the evidence candle? This is a one minute time frame for heaven's sake. Just wait one minute, one minute. Sometimes the candle breaks out and it comes and closes as a pin, but you couldn't wait a couple of seconds. 
patience is the key in this business we are not guessing okay this is a long-term business it's not a short-term business where you want like uh, quick things no it's a business that actually takes time to grow so guys if you do things the right way honestly i assure you you're gonna get this best rate you have seen everything i post to you okay you have seen my executions i post them and i post them over and over again but this time around i decided not to post them as i told you in my recent videos people are taking my images and they are actually uh sending them into group trying to scam people so i stop doing that okay okay this is not a get rich quick kind of thing this is a long-term business which needs hard work okay to build so guys i have explained a lot of things so from now i'm just gonna speed up okay i don't even know if i should do the remaining days okay let's just go to tuesday yes there's something important i want to show you about tuesday okay let's go back to our criteria. oh god i love this okay let's go to this criteria again identify trap volume before the session who is trapped before the session these guys are obviously trapped okay let's say this guys over here are trapped before the session why because we are coming five to ten minutes before the session begins okay this guys inside this are red uh, red box oh it's green oh it's red because i'm changing it okay this guys inside the red box are literally what they are literally trapped okay i don't want to type it again i'm just gonna copy it okay and bring it here these guys are trapped before the session begins okay okay that's the first criteria what kind of trend do you see that's another question we ask ourselves right i know you don't like these things but they are important okay this is a first trend line do we have a second trend line oh god we do this is a second trend line okay and what do they do they immediately explain explode when the session opens so guys this is important if they gave you an opportunity to go up or you chase this candle here because some of you are so obsessed you don't want to wait you chase this green candle here guys this was an explosive trend okay this was an explosive trend this was a move that was exploding okay it was an explosive trend explosive this was an explosive trend on itself right this was an explosive trend hence they exploded but there's something i want to show you now the third question to ask ourselves is what news do we have on the calendar okay this was on tuesday we had fed chair power testifies okay you as you can see these are meeting news we don't have the actual we don't have the forecast and we don't have the previous okay we don't have any value these are meetings okay so what does this mean this means that okay this is 10 a.m u.s time which is 4 p.m south african time we don't do anything up until the news okay we don't do anything up until the news right where is the news where are the news oh guys i love you this uh, okay this is where the news start so some of you started looking for an opportunity here okay that's not correct i've said this some time uh, some time back these are news these are actual events they are not just releases of numbers these are actual news event it's gonna be an event so you what you do is you copy this you copy this right you come to youtube and you post this okay you just paste it you're gonna see the news okay csbc streamed they are streaming live uh yahoo news streamed live okay cnbc live there are many many websites that will be streaming live okay many many websites that will be streaming live what was the date the day was all oh, the ninth okay so we have to find this news they actually happened when on the ninth this is the ninth this news lasted two hours 13 minutes two hours 13 minutes and guys remember during this news prices are gonna be moved by what this uh by what powell says whatever powell says negative or positive it's gonna move prices and this is powell if you didn't know him this everything this man says because a panel of experts will be asking him questions about the economy of united states inflation rates obviously interest rates housings whatever okay so the best thing you can do is just watch this news until they finish okay because when this news finish that's when prices are gonna move okay of course we don't I don't trade fundamentals although i'm studying a lot of fundamentals right now because i just want to start uh doing long-term trading as well i've been studying it for a while but okay i haven't shared anything with you because i'm still testing it to see if it's working it's gonna work for me okay so i don't share things that don't work okay i first do a lot of work and a lot of study but you guys don't want to work okay it's okay it's okay it's okay if you think this is a business where you just uh you just get success without working 
that's on you so what i did was i watched this entire event okay it lasted uh, where is it okay yes it lasted uh roughly wait a minute it lasted one uh one hour 26 minutes okay yes 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 so what i did was i watched this event okay so as i'm telling you this is not where you just wait for the news candle and then you continue afterward no this is an entire event okay this is an entire event and if you look at it the entire event was building up a huge picture the entire event was building a picture this event was building a picture you see okay and now this is a perfect pattern which has three touches one touch here how do you count the touches before taking the trade two touch here and guys i did this to eliminate uh some bad and poor patterns okay i want you to focus on the clean patterns okay one one they come and touch this line too okay this is like uh, uh this is a form of uh symmetrical triangle okay okay it's a symmetrical triangle okay so once they've touched this line they have to go and touch the opposite line so you can't touch count this as a touch why because they didn't come to this line at least if they uh they come close you can count it okay you uh that's a judgment you have to make because sometimes they're not going to give you what you anticipate okay so you have one two touches one two touches and they came down and made a third touch and i told you the third one can be a breakout it's okay as long as we have uh three touches on either extreme because this one can still be a breakout it's okay and look what they did immediately this is a engulfing candle but it didn't break out right okay so we wait for the next candle the next candle was a breakout this was the inside candle on itself this candle here this candle was an engulfing candle look at the size of this candle it exceeds the size of the candles that made the last leg but we don't execute on it because why they can still continue or come and break down but when they break to the upside with this big candle okay this is still a big candle that broke to the upside this is where they gave an opportunity and this guys is a is a pattern that took more than an hour to build as you can see roughly 90 minutes okay it took roughly 90 minutes to build what does this tell you this tells you you can target 100 pips oh 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 guys this is something i didn't want to tell you i wanted you to go and back test for yourself because i can't possibly tell you everything some of you rely only on what i say but there's a lot you're gonna discover when you're back testing i shared back testing tools with you please guys go and put in the work the actual execution on the day is less it's not it's not even work it's like a runner a person might break world record in two minutes okay run two minutes break world record but in reality those people or that person actually has years of experience behind the scene they've been running on their streets they've been running in the sun just for that two minutes to break the record okay so the same applies in every business even at school you'll spend roughly uh six uh six years to become a medical doctor if i'm not mistaken six or seven years the same applies to becoming a doctor philosophy you can spend roughly 10 years to become a doctor philosophy you can spend roughly four years just to become a psychologist okay i'm not just i'm when i say just to become a psychologist i'm not undermining the career it's a big career and four years it's a lot of years okay studying something you can come you can spend four years just to become a teacher okay let me not use the word just because some people will think i'm undermining these careers okay i'm not undermining any career these are best careers okay you can spend four years to become a lawyer okay so when it comes to trading you want a 15 minute video oh ho, ho. okay it's fine but guys you have to spend more than a medical doctor does unfortunately i didn't bring uh i should have actually uh, shared the page with you here but i'll share it another day where a pro where like uh an engineer was actually explaining that he's a, he has a phd in, in, in engineering vast of experience he's a business uh, person like he has uh actually created some big things that are used by big minds okay okay invented some tools that are used by big minds but he came to the market and lost heavily okay so guys in this business you need to put in more work than a teacher does in studying more work than a medical doctor does in learning okay so if uh, it takes seven years for a medical doctor to learn guys you have to go and dig deep into history if you can do 50 years of data it's okay if you can do 10 years of data it's okay if you can do five years of data it's okay why because that back testing is giving you experience 
experience. That back testing is dealing with you. Remember, trading is mostly about you, you, you. Most uh, most losses are self sabotages. Okay, you self sabotage. You know exactly what to do. I did this more time to know it. Okay, I did it in back testing. I did it in live markets. I lost through these things. Okay, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's you. Most of the losses are going to be on you because the trade itself is so obvious. Okay. The trade itself is so obvious. You know what to do. You know what time to look uh, uh, for a trade. Guys, look at the time. Oh, guys, I just love this. Look at the time. This is roughly 45. Okay. 46. Okay. Yes. It's not within the 10 minutes. Okay. But look at what happened. Okay. If you are looking for something within the 10 minutes, yeah, but this is no longer reliable because they don't have that, okay? But experience will show you this, okay? Look at the time. Yes, it doesn't fall within the 10 minutes. Sometimes it's going to be like this. Most of the trades are going to happen within 10 minutes, uh, 2 o'clock or after o'clock or 2 half past or after o'clock or, or half past after half past, okay? But yes, they can still give them earlier. What you need is experience. How do you know this is a reliable trade? You need experience. Go and back test. You'll see. Oh, this happens. This happens. This happens. You don't have to wait for somebody to explain all these things for you. What what I should have been doing in in reality was just to give you like uh, an idea, a framework where you could build from. But most of you come with very easy questions. I'm not saying don't ask me questions, but I'm saying go and back test. There are things you can learn for yourself. There are things that will actually come to the open when you are doing the actual back testing, guys. Do not underestimate back testing. It gives you experience, and experience is what you need in this business. Without experience, you are going to sabotage until maybe the time you give up, okay? Because most of the losses will be self sabotaging. Go and back test. You will see these things. Because sometimes you ask me, but you took this one. Guys, you think what I'm sharing with you, sometimes I break the rules. I don't break the rules. I've just done this way too long, and I've done this many many times to know what is working and to know when an opportunity is actually happening most of these moves are gonna be a reputation by the way okay you think markets have new moves every day that's not true some uh okay there are traders who say they trade intuition intuition is like you you realize that i've done this before and that's intuition you can't say intuition i feel like this is gonna go up you don't feel okay you don't feel Experience is what helps you develop intuition. Intuition is like, I've seen this trade before. I've taken it before. It's just a reputation. How are you going to get that intuition? Go and back test. Okay, so this is a move that exploded. I told you, you are going to get moves that are ready to explode. Okay, don't take something if you are not understanding what they are doing. Okay, and always look at the news. Always look at the news. Okay, so in this week, yes, of course, US 30 gave beautiful trades Monday and Tuesday. Okay, now let's go to Wednesday. Oh, guys, I love you. But I am, uh, I don't think I'll do the whole week because I've shared a lot of information. You see, explode. Wow, guys, I love this. You see, 100 pips hit very, very quick in 43 minutes. You see, it can't get better than this. It can't get better than this, okay? It can't get better than this. This is the easiest kind of a trade. Then later, shoulder, head, shoulder. You see? And then they explode down. Shoulder, head, shoulder, and then they start building something like a wedge for you, okay? They start building something like a wedge. But I don't trade this time, okay? Because I'm already done, okay? So guys, what are you looking for? What more do you need? Rinse and repeat. What more do you need? What more do you need? The problem is you're not going to go and listen to all of these things or else you're going to come to this strategy looking for the holy grain. You have 10 strategies in your mind. Uh, guys, you know, I've seen many people struggling with this strategy, although it being the simplest. And I think, okay, let me, let me, uh, let me just uh, not say a lot because I've said a lot. Go and back test. Okay. This was Wednesday. Let's go to our criteria. Who is trapped? Who is trapped? Okay. The session is opening here. We are in the middle, but okay, of course, this is just not something big because sometimes some people maybe started analyzing here and who was losing? These guys down here were losing, okay? You see, most of the days they will not release them. They give you an opportunity down and you, you guys are so obsessed with starting from here. Why are you ignoring this? They give you an opportunity down, you take it. 
then you get trapped you didn't have 65 to 70 pips you got trapped and now you're coming to me complaining but this i did this it didn't work no you didn't do this you 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 chose to start from the third criteria okay that's on you if you choose to start on the third criteria well good luck okay because i've tested this I've done this and I know what works on this one, okay? Did you have two trend lines, an explosive trend? And by the way, this is not the only trend you can identify. Obviously, no, we only had one, okay? So we didn't have an explosive trend on this day. What what news do we have on the calendar? I will be, just be quick. I'm almost, I don't think I'll do the whole week because this video is already long, okay? Okay, what news did you have? Power, chair, okay, Fed, chair, Powell testifies same kind of news what do you do you come to youtube you look for the date when was the date this was the ninth so this we are looking for the news that actually happened on the 10th on the 10th on the 10th okay i don't see them but i watch them where are they uh, i don't see them anymore oh here they are the 10th what how many minutes did this last it lasted one hour 40 minutes one hour 40 minutes it happened on the 10th i watched it cnbc Many websites will be streaming this, right? You just watch them because as they ask this person about questions about the economy, if he says something negative, prices are going to immediately uh, react to what he is saying. So what do you do? The best, way, the best thing to do is to wait, okay? Because yes, we waited for the session to open, but we had news this day, okay? So you see, if you took the opportunity down, oh, but I love this. Okay, maybe somebody said, oh, ho, ho, God, I love this. Maybe somebody said, oh, but they gave us a beautiful right angle triangle. First of all, news. And then somebody maybe said, oh, they broke down. Oh, they broke down. They broke down. Didn't even look if the candle was too big. But here you would have got trapped. Why? Because you are in trapped volume. You take this, it fails. You come to me. Oh, but they gave us a right angle triangle. It's so beautiful. Guys, the criteria says you need to have 65 to 70 pips to where? To this point here where they release trap volume. And here you didn't get an evidence candle. This candle is so small. Compared with the candles that made the last leg, it is a small candle. So it's not about the breakout. And that's where I think uh, uh, people are also getting wrong. It's not about the breakout, okay? It's never about the breakout. It has never been a break about the breakout. It is never about the breakout. It's about the candle, the big candle that breaks out, the engulfing candle that breaks out. So if you took this one, obviously, this was not a trade, okay? And another thing, you didn't comply with this one. You didn't comply with this one, okay? You fully ignored this one because most of you want to start here. Oh, good luck, okay? Good luck. That's going to harm you most of the time. And then again, you avoided the news. Oh, I put it here as well, news. You wait for 9.30, but if there is news, you wait for the news to trade. In this case here, the news are not just happening at 10 a.m. U.S. time, okay? Or 4 o'clock uh, South African time. No, this news actually are an actual event, okay? They are an actual event. They ended up late somewhere here. But on this day, what did I say when I started this video? I told you, I interchange. I divide my screen and look at all these assets at the same time, right? Is it not what I say to you? Obviously, it is. So on this day, if you go to Nasdaq, I'm not going to go to Monday and Tuesday on Nasdaq because if I do, this video is going to get too long, okay? I just want to keep this video, uh, okay, th it was on the 10th. Okay, it was on the 10th, okay? Okay, so I don't want to go back and uh, actually uh, try that. Okay, who was trapped before the session began? On the 10th, obviously, everybody down was trapped. And it's going to be on the closing price above or below. So we can just say, okay these guys here are trapped okay going up we can decide where they played okay where they gave a range okay where they gave a range i told you most of the time they're gonna lead you into trap volume but you guys don't want to see this okay you want to start from criteria number three good luck okay good luck trapped guys these days i no longer record that much why because it's the same thing every day okay it's the same thing every day. Every time, I every time I come to record, I'm recording the same thing every single day. Okay. These guys are trapped here. Okay. These guys are trapped. Do we have something like two trend lines? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. This is where they started going up. So we can take it like this. Oh, okay. They, they, they kind of did. And then they, they gave us another trend line. Let's see. If they gave us another trend line. Uh, okay. 
let's say we have it so we know it's okay we are in an explosive trend okay but okay it was invalidated what did i say be in the now moment if we go to us 30 i still have this here be in the now moment okay be in the now moment what are prices saying yes this looks like an uh, yes it is an explosive trend but what are price saying prices are declining we are in the now moment what are prices saying prices have just invalidated the explosive trend okay well good and somebody saw shoulder head shoulder all right this is good i love this somebody saw a head and shoulder this is good okay okay did they give an evidence candle wow yes this is the big candle that broke out compare this candle with the sizes of this candle it's the biggest candle okay so this is an evidence candle okay this is an evidence candle i want to show you something interesting here i want to show you something interesting here i want to show you something interesting here how many pips did we have hallelujah we had roughly 51. does this qualify let's go to our criteria no it doesn't our tra our criteria says 65 to 70 pips you think i just put this for fun oh okay that's good guys you have to improve and grow every day okay you have to improve and grow every day okay so this didn't qualify first of all this one was rejected here secondly we had news so we were not we were not free to execute because these news are what are actual events we wait for the news to trade right every day so in this case we have to wait for the news to finish is that not true it is true right so what do they do we don't care about what they do why because we still have news for me i was still busy watching the event okay on the 10th i was busy one hour uh, one hour for uh, one hour 40 minutes i was busy watching this event okay as i was busy watching this event right when the event uh was about to be concluded what did we get what did we get we got something like a right angle triangle right angle triangle yes it broke out did they give us an engulfing candle let's look if we have a big candle guys 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 i love this okay so now this news have been yes and obviously now we are not taking a trade into trap volume so we can continue without this one because we are not taking it into a trap volume okay and now yes the news have finished okay trap uh chart pattern here's a chart pattern okay here's a chart pattern one one two two okay they go and break and they come to make three but let's look now evidence candle do we have an ev evidence candle on this breakout okay if you think this is an evidence candle if this qualified for you to be an evidence candle look at the size yes it's big but did it close as an engulfing candle it's almost closed outside it's fine if you thought this was an evidence candle for you well then good you could have executed here okay because you are the one who has to judge the trade okay if you didn't see this as convincing okay by the way if you executed here let's look at where your 25 pips are 25 pips okay you see 25 pips are very very far so it simply means if you took this trade your 25 pips is somewhere here right your 25 pips is somewhere here okay that's where your 25 pips this one failed of course guys it didn't qualify for those who didn't see it okay it, it didn't qualify so now if you took this one it's good it's good it's good it's good where's your 25 pips your 25 pips is obviously somewhere not even here it's somewhere somewhere here okay this is 25 pips okay this is 25 pips if for your stops i told you 15 to 25 pips okay but in this case obviously you can't put them all the way down here this is a trade where you can put them at 15 pips okay i told you my stops are, are from 15 to 25 pips so in this one you can put them here okay it's up to you and i told you a pullback is not a threat what did i say a pullback is not a threat it's what it's an opportunity okay i just showed you a pullback is not a threat it's an opportunity but for me i took it here and i opened three positions at the same time yes i opened a position as they are going up you're scaling going up scaling they are confirming okay your stops are not that big guys your stops are not that big because even after taking this one your your 25 pips is now here just after trailing to here okay so you can see your stops are not that big and as you are trailing you are now this this is the time when you can actually trail your stops okay trail your stops and 100 pips is what i targeted okay 
I targeted 100 pips. I told you if you backtest, you will know moves that are actually go and moves where you can target 50 pips. So even if you targeted 50 pips, it was still okay. What I am trying not to do is to tell you to target 100 pips because most of the days, they will go 50 pips, 60 pips, 70 pips, 50 pips guaranteed. Okay, 100 pips not guaranteed. But if you go and back test enough, you will get to know which ones you can target more and which ones you can target less. But look at this. This is what stood out for me. Yes, they broke out, but here this candle wasn't convincing for me. So I had to wait. They retested and this is when I entered. Immediately when they gave this candle, that's when I entered. That was after the news have completed. Some some of you entering all the way here. When there is news, you don't know what's going to happen because there is news, okay? Everything is going to be influenced by what? By news, okay? That's highly, highly important. Highly important. Wait for the news to actually play out and complete. Immediately when the news completed, boom, oh, they broke out. This was a good one. And here, this is the third thing I'm trying to show you. Look at this. On Wednesday, Nas gave the best entry. Oh, guys, I love you. Oh, this is amazing, okay? It blows my mind away every time I speak about this. Because it's the same thing each and every day. It just blows my mind away, okay? It just blows my mind away. It just blows my mind away. Because for so long, I've been talking about the same thing, okay? Just be patient. Be like jo like, 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 like uh, uh, Jim Rogers, okay? Be like Jim Rogers. I just read it to you. He waits. He waits. Let me read it perhaps again. It blows my mind away. Look, ah, guys, 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 I don't know, but I, ah, guys, guys, what more could you look for? What more could you look for? It blows my mind away because of how like consistent they keep this. I told you, they give you an evidence candle not to show you or give you an opportunity. But because it's their footsteps, they've trapped. They have to make sure they shift zones instantly to ensure that those who took the opposite direction are at huge losses. Okay, that's why you, you actually follow their steps, which becomes evidence. Footsteps are evidence. If somebody... Ah, guys, I love this. If somebody has been in your yard, you will see their footsteps. And that's evidence that somebody has been there. Do you think footsteps will just image in your yard? No. It's because somebody was there. Okay, if you know the kind of food, because yes, we have unique feeds. And there are kind of feeds you know that, oh, this is uh, that person's feed. That's evidence you have right there. Okay, evidence. Just look at this. I just wait until... There is money lying in the corner and all I have to do is go over there and pick it. In other words, until the trade is so obvious that it's like picking. Ah, guys, money up off the floor. He does nothing. Cheetah. A cheetah only looks for an obvious prey. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you have. It doesn't matter how, 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 how long you've been doing this kind of thing. Look for the easiest, easiest, easiest kind of a trade. Hence, I told you, I'm not married to a certain asset. I exchange these things day by day looking for what? Looking for what? Looking for what? This is what I'm looking for. Let me underline it for you. I am looking. Uh, I'm looking for a baby antelope. Not just any baby antelope, but preferably I am looking for the sick baby antelope or the one that is lame. In other words, I'm looking for the easiest, easiest, easiest kind of a trade day in, day out. Okay. Only then when there is a, when there is no chance I can lose. Obviously, yes, sometimes you can lose because the market has uh, uh, planned something. That's why sometimes you see I go two weeks with only one loss or two loss. I do get that, okay? And you get so surprised. The secret is patience. Learn to sit on your hands. Learn to sit on your hands, okay? Be lip shoes. There are many guys here. Get this book, okay? The little book about Marcus Wizard. Get this book. Read it. You will learn from the best, guys. You see, until it's so obvious that, uh, sorry, until it's so obvious that Guys, I don't know what you need, okay? So here I change on to, 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 to US tag, okay? Dow gave a beautiful one on Monday. Tuesday, Dow gave a beautiful one. Wednesday, Nas gave the beautiful one. Thursday, 
<laughs> Let me just do Thursday and close, guys. I, I'm, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm carried away. Honestly, this video is too long. But guys, I, if it provided value to you, please tell me in the comment section. Okay, if it provided value to you, tell me in the comment section who is trapped when the market is opening. Okay, on this day we can't tell who is trapped why because obviously. We are opening in the middle, okay? The session is opening in the middle. As you can see, this is the low and this was the high that was reached on the day. But uh, the session is opening way in the middle. Guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I really do. Honestly, I love you all, guys. I don't know why you don't see these things. They are so easy. Go and back test, okay? Go and back test. You know, I'm happy. Do you know why I'm happy? Because this is rinse and repeating. Same thing every day. The growth is amazing when you start doing these things. Oh, I love this, guys. I love this. I'm so happy, honestly. So you can't identify trap volume here. What kind of trend do you see? We don't have any two trend lines. If you see a trend line, we only have one, right? Okay. Uh, do we have news? Do we have news on, 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 on Thursday? Do we have news? Okay, we shall see. There's nothing new that I'm telling you. We had a lot of news, but fortunately it was before the session. So by the time the session opens, uh, uh, there's nothing to, 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 to be concerned about. We have no news. See what happened. Wow, guys, I am so, so, I'm just happy. Look at NASDAQ. Okay, we have no trend volume, no news during the session, no, no trend. Okay, what now do we look for? Oh, half bad man. Okay, this is a half bad man. Uh, half bad man. Half bad man, I want to show you something. Ah, oh, this is amazing, amazing. But they didn't give you an evidence candle, right? Small candle break, small candle break. They come back in again, small candle breaks. The only time they give you a, a big candle is they are already here. And if you look at this, ah, uh, let's look at this, guys. This is roughly 50 pips, so you can't take this one, okay? And then they retrace and do this. Oh, what do you do in cases like this? What do you do? What did I say? Remember the video I made about... Uh, Correlations and people were like, ah, oh, correlations. Do you remember that video? If you do, let's look at this. Look at the time. Look at the time. The time they give you this big candle, it's 15, 13, uh, 1352 on my broker. 1352. Note this. Where is 1352? It's right here down. The move has already gone down. And the next time they give you a big candle again, it is at 1409. 1409 oh boy this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing let's go to uh we are going to uh we are going to us 30 guys sorry I, it's like i'm playing too much today but i'm so happy you can't take this joy away from me because guys guys this is so amazing so so amazing okay half bad man and then eventually they build up a right angled triangle right angle triangle okay do you go up obviously they did it okay if you saw this as an evidence but this is not an evidence candle okay do you go up okay you see it's not really an evidence candle because it's not a bigger size here and it didn't really close outside okay some people went up but this was a half bad man guys they are building a half bad man so you're not just gonna oppose the half bad man okay uh, I want to show you something interesting, something amazing. This is a half bad man. You're not just going to fight it. Now, what do you do? What do you do? They break to the top. You relax. Patience. Because now you are guessing. Okay. Yes, I told you right angle, triangle. If they break in a direction with an evidence candle, you take it. But look at this, guys. Half bad man. And yes, they are playing inside. They broke outside. Okay, but look at the correlations. Look at the correlations. They are trading the same way. Look at how here they give you this M pattern. Notice how even on S&P they give you this M pattern. They are trading in the same way. What did I say? Correlations, correlations. Look at my recent video where we spoke about correlations. You'll understand these things. Beautiful. Okay, so let's look at the time. I told you already by the time they gave this big handle, it was 1409. Let's go to S&P. Oh, guys, I love this. S&P, okay, where is 1409? 1409 is still inside, okay? It's still inside. It's still inside. So what could have saved you here? Correlation saved the day here. 
you forget these things. You forget these things because some of you are so obsessed with multiple strategies. Guys, you don't have to trade multiple strategies. You can focus on one. And I'm not saying focus on this one. Whatever strategy is working for you. But guys, always remember, if you have 10 strategies, you're going to get clouded and get analysis paralysis. So yes, they broke to the upside, but Nasdaq did bright. Nasdaq actually did the opposite. Nasdaq broke to the downside, and this is the first candle down. This is the first candle down. Look at this. They are trading in the same way. Same way. Thirteen fifty two. Where is thirteen fifty two? Thirteen fifty two on S and P. Thirteen fifty two. Thirteen fifty two. You see, thirteen fifty two is still inside. And Nasdaq has already broken down. So because they are correlated, when you look at Nasdaq, okay, it gives us an idea of what uh, the S&P might do. Okay, S&P goes and breaks uh, to the upside. Now Nasdaq is broken down, S&P is breaking up. What do you do? You wait. Okay, you wait if you were looking at the correlations. And then later, when uh, this one happened, for, uh, okay, 1409, Obviously, 1409 became this one. Now they are breaking back inside. What did I tell you? Remember the trade about uh, about uh, correlations? Guys, 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 this is so beautiful. If you remember what I said about correlations, this is where, this is where actually uh, the trade was. Why? Because, yes, you wait for the pattern, but when there is correlation, remember there's a day I told you I didn't even wait for, for, for the pattern to build because correlation had already told me what is happening, okay? So this one had already broken down and it is one this closed here as a breakdown candle. But of course, again, even if you waited for the pattern, now it broke here with this candle. Still good breakout. Why? Because Nasdaq is already gone. Let's look at the time of the breakout. The time of the breakout is actually, okay, 14.12. Let's look at 14.12 on Nasdaq, okay? Let's look at 14.12. 14.12. 14.12. 14.12. We want to see where. Hey, 14.12, where are you? 14.12, you are here. You see, 14.12 is already down. 14.12 has already broken down. And out of S&P, that's when 14.30 is just breaking down. So you see, there's a lot of things. I told you, as a trader, you have a lot of things to be thinking about when a trade is actually unfolding. You have to be thinking about a lot of things in your mind, okay? But some people just want to see a pattern and they execute. No, no. There's a lot of things that have to be going in your mind, okay? Okay? I've shared all the steps with you. You need the easiest things, guys. But remember, you are trading against the, 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 the best people in the world. Some people have already mastered this kind of business. You are going against Paul Tudor Jones. You are going against Jim Rogers. You are going against all these best guys, okay? You are going against Soros. You are going against these big, big, big guys. So you need to be well prepared and you need to put in the work. Go and back test. If you can back test 10 years of data, that's excellent, okay? If you can back test more, wow, that's brilliant, okay? Because... You can't go, you can't defeat these big guys by just coming 15 minutes out to your charts and that's it. No, no, you need to put in the work. These guys, guys, these guys have all the tools. These guys are using sophisticated tools, not just using MT4, okay? These guys are using the most expensive platforms, platforms that show them things that we don't have, okay? So the least we can do is to put in the work, okay? Put in the work. You see, Correlation saved the day. And this is where they went almost 600 pips. You see, you see, you see. You don't take one thing. You exchange. Why? You are looking for the baby antelope. Baby antelope. Okay? You exchange. You are looking for the easiest, easiest kind of a trade. If hedge fund managers are looking for the easiest, if Jim Rogers is always looking for the easiest, who are you to try? Who are you trying to be? A rocket scientist? A, 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 a. I don't know. What are you trying to be? Huh? This is a nuclear scientist. Whatever. Don't try to be so difficult when they're giving something easy. Okay? Uh, it's not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay? Easy. You don't have to crack your head. Have to No. Look for the easiest one. How do you get the easiest one? How do you get to know them? Fact testing will give you all the information you need. Yes, of course. I can't share everything on a one hour minute. And guys, I, there's no way I'm going to give you all the experience I've learned throughout this year in a one hour minute, in a one hour video. I try to make as many videos as I can. And some of you tell me that I talk too much. <laughs> some of you tell me that I talk too much. 
You don't need my information. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just happy, okay? Today, I'm happy, okay? So, this was the easiest one on Thursday, okay? Nas, mm -mm, not that easy because, yeah, you can see Nas. But Nas gave an indication based on correlations. They were giving the same kind of trades, okay? Same kind of trades, okay? Same level, same pattern. Nah, guys, I told you, okay? told you these things i'm just repeating myself over and over again even though you say i talk too much it's okay if you don't need the information good luck okay but guys i love you okay let's just go to friday okay i'm i'm already exhausted at this moment but guys uh, you know you know i don't know man i don't know friday what news did we have uh, okay i'm just carried away guys okay uh okay this was friday we had news later, later around 4 p.m. So what are we doing? We are not doing anything before the news, okay? Because it's only 30 minutes. I don't want to trade uh, 30 minutes before the news, okay? Uh, we are doing nothing, okay? So let's go back to our charts and let's go back to our criteria. I love this, guys. This is the same thing every day. Same thing every day. Okay, I made a lot of videos. If you don't enjoy videos, I, I, I actually summarized everything in your playbook. You don't read the playbook. Most of you have it, but you don't read it. Oh, okay. Oh, everything I've put here. Everything, the normal trends. There are different kind of trends that will help you. There's different kind of information here. Okay, I summarized every single thing. Okay, let's go to page 33. I don't know if some of you have looked at page 33. You see... I've given you diagrams, trap volume, breakout, pattern, boom. This is what happens every day, the opposite direction. I've drawn these things for you, okay? Trap volume, the session opens here. Yeah. Now they might lead you into trap volume, but if they haven't given you a pattern, don't chase moves. The fact that prices have gone 150 pips, 200 pips, doesn't mean you should have been in that trade right okay yes it doesn't mean you should have been in the trade okay yes so just look at this they give you the pattern then boom they break down guys what more could you what more could you need this is practical step by step i told you it's so simple you have all the steps you need to follow okay i told you that i told you that i'm telling you again i told you that okay who is trapped before the session okay let's go and look at who is trapped sorry guys i'm just happy today okay okay the session is opening in the middle this guys could be trapped this guys could be trapped so uh we can't tell who is trapped and by the way this is the only criteria you can go without hey, fortunately i did mention this at the start of this video right yes so the second question is do you have two different trend lines or are we in any form of a trend i see one oh, so okay fine news we had news at 4 p.m south african time 10 a.m u.s time so we don't do anything until the news and this news are different if you looked at them these are just news where they give you value and that's done for the day so okay fine we didn't do anything uh before the news we didn't do anything before the news when was this uh okay no wait Oh, this was Thursday. Sorry, guys. Thursday, S and P gave the beautiful trade. So we are going. To, we are on Friday actually here. Okay, we are on Friday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And again, the session is opening in the middle, as you can see. The session is opening in the middle. Do we have a trend? No, we don't have a trend. Do we have news? Yes, we have news at uh at ten a.m. U.S. time and four p.m. South African time. So we just wait for the news. Okay, so the news were here. Okay, and I didn't uh trade uh uh U.S. thirty. Why? Because wait a minute no i took us 30 if you, i didn't take nasdaq simply because nasdaq actually gave a beautiful pattern let's look at this same thing okay uh who is trapped when the session is opening we are roughly at the middle okay but we can say the people down are trapped because maybe you analyzed here okay so the people down we can say they are trapped okay okay because uh, we didn't go all the way up but it's okay even if you saw that we were in the middle it's still okay but don't ignore this okay because if you're getting an opportunity into trap volume you need to know if it's an opportunity worth taking or not okay so guys we can say these guys here are trapped okay uh these guys down here are trapped obviously it's on the closing price right okay and then we had news in the middle of the session i want to first show you nasdaq this is the one i didn't take and there was a reason is this yes is this friday yes okay so guys i'm done just give me uh, five minutes uh, today we spoke a lot okay and if you look at this one obviously this one actually gave uh 
the right angle triangle okay an ascending right angle triangle it's an ascending right angle triangle and if you want to understand all most of these patterns i have them in the playbook or you can read shabaka shabaka actually explains them in the best way even if you read uh, magi it's still okay because it's just shabaka's extension okay he extended shabaka's work and again they broke out okay they broke out but this was before the news they broke out retested and then that's when they broke out again with an evidence candle this time around okay so you see this is the evidence candle the big candle that breaks out okay so for those who took the first one here obviously they closed you okay but yeah this here's the say so here's another important thing i want you to know and i'm glad they did it here but guys we don't trade here okay why because it's in front of the news okay that's why i'm telling you i didn't trade this but i'm just trying to show you something and this one actually happened very well there's a time you'll take an evidence candle and they will retest and close you but if they give you another candle again which is big like this this is not revenge trading why because if had they not given have they not closed you say maybe you executed here okay had they not closed you this is a place where you were gonna size in remember we spoke about size in when i showed you about uh when i actually showed you trade management a few minutes ago right a few hours uh, yeah i don't know a few minutes or a few hours ago okay 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 uh this is where you would have scaled in okay so yes there are days when they'll close you but again you realize that they give you another opportunity to enter which is a place where you were actually going to scale in so you see 25 pips were still within our range because 25 pips was somewhere here so when you get an opportunity like this this is where you can actually scale in okay this is where you can actually this is a trade you can take only if it was given after the news okay so i'm trying to show you in some cases they will close you but give you another opportunity and good traders know when to enter again it's just that you don't like have like big big stop losses because if you are wrong they're gonna take a lot from you but if uh, a pullback is not a threat i told you it's an opportunity so yes they might have closed you but again when they give you this in and candle that's where you can actually uh, enter again okay so that's what uh, separates good traders from bad traders so you see this one was before the news so the opportunity was uh, invalidated for me because it was actually before the news however with us 30 they didn't do that okay us 30 actually uh gave a very beautiful pattern to the downside look at this this is a very very clean pattern okay they gave a right angle a triangle okay so if we look for our, our three touches we have a touch down here now they have to go to the other extreme we have a touch up here now they have to go down we have a touch down here now they have to go up okay we have a touch here and now they have to go uh down we have a touch here and the third one could be the breakout that's good we said uh, we talked about that now this is the third touch but we need an evidence candle so this was the most big uh, biggest evidence candle look at the size of the candle it's the big candle comparing to to the last leg and i know i told you guys be patient okay some of you took this one going down but that's not on me it's on you okay Right, because I told you, wait for one minute, wait for this candle to close, or at least until there is roughly one, two, or three seconds left. But even if there's three seconds, they can still go come and close as a pin. You know what they do. If you backtest, you'll see these things, okay? Because you are backtesting in real time. I'm against people who backtest fast. You speed your chart so fast because you want to do 10, uh, a whole month in a day. Guys, you are not backtesting if you are doing that reduce the speed and backtest in real time why because you can't be backtesting and this candle happens and by the time because it's so fast you see it here oh this is this was the pattern i would have taken it here no you wouldn't have taken it here it's about seeing these things in real time so when you backtest make sure it's as slow as it can and you are also experiencing the patience because trading is more it's more it's more patience than uh it's more sitting than execution it's more patience okay so you need to feel the patience that is going to give you the trade on the third hour just give yourself time to actually uh back test very very slow okay you need to feel the importance of sitting you need to feel that pain because if you don't feel that pain remember for more for me is real okay for me is real and you're gonna experience it when you are back testing so that's when you're gonna know how to combat it okay there's things i can't teach I'm not a psychologist, okay? There are things I can't teach honestly. I can only teach as much as I can. I can only share. I'm not teaching, I'm sharing. I can only share as much as I can, okay? I can only share as much as I can. I cannot share what is meant for psychologists. If you need to know about psychology, 
read Dr. Stay, Stay, Stay in Beg's book, uh, uh, Trading Psychology 101, uh, read Trading uh, Psychology for Dummies, read Mark Douglas, Trading in the Zone or the Discipline Trade. There's a lot of books out there. The Mental Game of Trading. There's a lot of books out there, okay, about, uh, about, about patience. You can just go and read them, okay? And also find yourself. You're going to find yourself in back testing. Some of you try to figure all these things out in lifetime or in forward testing. Guys, you're going to do more damage than good to yourself, okay? Just go and back test. Download 10 years of data. Test that 10 years of data. Get to figure yourself out from the markets. Learn to be patient and grow into the person you want to be. Okay, I always tell people, if you ask me, how did I get to this level of patience? It's something you grow into, okay? You're not going to become it overnight. It's something you have to grow into, okay? You'll be surprised when these things happen, okay? Why? Because it's something. Remember, your mind is, uh, is actually designed to protect you. But the more you do this, your mind actually shifts. Your mind knows what to start looking for. Your mind knows what not to look for, okay? So you have to first change your mind, and that's something that takes time. Okay, and it takes different kind of processes. That's why I mentioned this kind of book, these other books I've just mentioned now for you. Okay, it's because your mind is made to protect you from pain. Okay, and by doing that, it actually takes opportunities away. So you need to find yourself, do that in back testing. Okay, so you see, this is the evidence candle. Boom, they went. 100 pips was hit actually on the first move up. Okay. And I told you, if they give you a beautiful pattern and then they start building another pattern here, the best you should do is not to take that pattern. Because now you're going to see uh, maybe a shoulder, head and shoulder, a rectangle, whatever. The fact is, they've just given you a beautiful pattern. Chances are they are trying to get you, 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 you scared. Why? Because they are planning a very big move. And when they are planning a very big move, they are going to do this nonsense, okay? So all you have to do is know is no. If they give you a pattern a few minutes after the beautiful pattern they gave you, you don't have to panic, okay? Don't take it because it's in contrary with the first one. They are trying to trick you, okay? Take it only if it's in line with the first one. Just, wow, just look at how big this move was. Just look at it, okay? Very big move, very, very big move, a very big move, okay? But these are the things you should know and write down. I've shared everything with you. Even if I don't share another video this week, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like. I have the peace of knowing that I shared everything with you. Okay, all you need now is on you. Okay, you need to go and back test. I gave you free back testing platforms. I showed you where to download free data. That's all you need. Now you need yourself and time. If you don't have that time, maybe this business is not for you. You need time. Go and back test. Everything is free, free, free. This content is free. Everything is free. Okay? So, guys, I don't know. Okay? I've done my best for today. And, guys, I've done my best. That's why you see I've reduced the number of videos I post. Because it's the same thing every day. Same thing every single day. And there's a person who asked uh, for... Okay. Yes, that was a, a good request. Like, uh, he asked me to open a page where people can share, share setups, okay? Because obviously when you're alone, it becomes so difficult. But if you want to be a great trader, you really, really have to, you really have to defeat these odds. Because if I open a group, I honestly, I hate groups. Why? Because, you know, there are people who are trading maybe five strategies. And I've experienced this, guys. I've experienced this. Then people are trading five strategies and they will be coming and posting their analysis on the group. And what's going to happen is some of you are going to get confused, okay? Because people are seeing many different things. People have many things they've learned for many years and it's hard to forget or to, 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 to forget everything and be in the now moment. Remember I told you, always be in the now moment. Forget everything else you know and be in the now moment, Okay. Look at what prices are telling you, okay? So, guys, it's very, very important uh, to learn these things and try to go and backtest many years of data. That's the only way you're going to become good, okay? Because this thing of many people posting this and that and that, it's just going to add more confusion. At some point, you're going to feel, oh, people are getting it, people are getting it. But in reality, some of them might be struggling and posting their best trades, okay? 
because what do you have realized uh, people don't post losses that's why there are many times I've shared my losses here on you I've posted my losses just to show you that it's not always about winning but in reality people don't post their losses and it's gonna harm most of you because you'll feel like you are the only bad one in the group everybody's getting it not knowing that uh, people are not actually showing you their losses okay so actually opening a group i will open a group once i see people becoming consistent because i really really have to monitor that group because it's gonna harm uh than doing good if you look at most telegram group groups most groups people are posting wins only and that gives you the mindset that oh because you are losing your bed i started by losing a lot you become good through losses and experience and back testing okay so if you look at other people's things you might lose confidence and like think you are so bad so that's my biggest concern uh that's why right now i haven't opened a, a telegram page i know a telegram page can grow this page uh, can grow even this channel quick but i for me it's not about the growth of the channel i don't care if the channel stays at 1000 subscribers if it goes more okay by the way you can still subscribe if you haven't okay I don't care if this channel grows. For me, it's not about the growth of the channel. For me, it's about understanding, rinse and repeating. Why? Because for me, it doesn't matter how big the channel is or how small it is. Okay? Okay? I'm a trader. Why should I be concerned about the channel's growth and stuff? Okay? I'm concerned about the well-being of those who are serious. So if I create a group, it's going to do more harm than good. Okay? Most Telegram groups just do harm. Because you think everybody's winning. Now you are bad. And... Some people are coming and posting things that are not even part of what you, you are f trading, okay? Unless I know that most of the people on the group are the people trading this strategy, okay? That's when I can open it. But so far, what I've seen is people have different kind of strategies and people like uh, try mixing strategies. When they lose, they blame you. Uh, but did they follow the rules? No, okay? So guys, I really appreciate you. I think my, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay, guys, uh, we'll talk. We'll talk about this. Okay, have a beautiful week. Same thing every day. Same trades every day, and interchange, guys. Don't focus on one. You saw Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. US thirty gave good patterns. Uh, Wednesday, Nasdaq. Thursday, uh, S and P. So you see, always look for the baby antelope and be patient. Don't take this many many things that you see inside out. No. If you, if you don't understand what's happening, you might be inside a part of a pattern or there might not be a pattern at all. Sometimes, yes, they'll go maybe 300 pips without giving you a pattern. Don't feel bad about it. Your opportunity was not there. Your goal is not to be right. Your goal is to make money, okay? And you only make that uh, when you get the big or the best opportunity and the easiest trades. Guys, I really appreciate you. Have a beautiful week. Thank you.